may and likely will come a time in which we have both an airborne disease that is deadly. And in order for us to deal with that effectively, we have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu like the Spanish flu crops up five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. And we're further along to be able to catch it. I cannot think of a better example of an area where we should all agree than passing this emergency funding to fight Ebola and to set up some of the public health infrastructure that we need to deal with potential outbreaks in the future. How do you argue with that? That is not a partisan issue. That is a basic common sense issue that all Americans can agree on. For the most part, people have recognized this is not a Democratic issue or a Republican issue. It's about the safety and security of the American people. So let's get it done. This can't get caught up in uh, normal politics. We need to protect the American people, and we need to show the world how America leads. Today I've come to talk about our nation's efforts to address this vital issue to the health and the safety of all Americans. I'm here to discuss our strategy to prevent and protect the American people from a possible outbreak. It's clear that our number one priority is in the event of a pandemic is to save lives. The president has a plan uh, to do just that. First, we must detect outbreaks that occur anywhere in the world. Second, we must protect the American people by stockpiling vaccines and antiviral drugs and improve our ability to rapidly produce new vaccines against a pandemic strain. We need to have a surveillance plan that allows us to identify when an incident has occurred in the world. The sooner we know, the, the more quickly and more adequately we can respond. We, we thought it would be irresponsible not to take on the pandemic planning effort um, to make sure that whenever it is, under whatever president's watch, that as a nation we're better prepared because it's the right thing to do. Uh, it can't be avoided. A pandemic is unlike other natural disasters. Outbreaks can happen simultaneously in hundreds or even thousands of locations at the same time. And unlike storms or floods, which strike in an instant and then recede, a pandemic can continue spreading destruction in repeated waves that can last for a year or more. And one day many lives could be needlessly lost because we fail to act today. You have said nobody could have seen this pandemic coming. Who dropped the ball? Well, I always knew that pandemics are one of the worst things that could happen. If you are preparing for a pandemic, why is it we don't have enough masks, enough medical equipment? In this uh, the previous now? administration, uh, the shelves were empty. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. This is their new hoax. Fauci said earlier this week that the lag in testing was, in fact, a failing. Do you take responsibility for that? Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all. You said that you don't take responsibility, but you did disband the White House pandemic office. It's lost valuable time because that office wasn't disbanded. What do you make of that? Well, I just think it's a nasty question. Uh, and when you say me, I didn't do it. Uh, we have a, you say we did that. I don't know anything you, about it. You don't know We're about, the, no, about the don't reorganization know. It's, that it's happened the, at the National Security It's the administration. Council. Perhaps they do that. You know, people it, let it, people go. You used to be with a different newspaper than you are now. You know, things like that happen. But this was, a, okay. this was an organization. Please, go ahead.